Some Republicans and Secretaries of State looked at the Constitution as a way to get Donald Trump off the ballot. A conviction of one of Michael Madigan's former top aides renews calls for ethics reform in Illinois. And Iowa Governor's support for securing the southern border with federal money raises some questions. We'll get to that this morning with former Iowa State Representative Phyllis Theody and Iowa Republican Party Chair Jeff Kaufman. Thank you both for being here. We're going to start with Kim Reynolds. Iowa's governor certainly hasn't shied away from her commitment to border security. Reynolds went to Texas a couple of weeks ago in a show of support with several other governors. That came after she sent more than 100 National Guard troops to the Texas border with Mexico to fight illegal immigration and drug trafficking. Now Reynolds is using money from the Rescue, American Rescue Plan Act to pay for it. ARPA money is supposed to help governments make up for revenue losses directly tied to COVID-19. It can go to small businesses, households, industries, premium pay for essential workers, as well as investments in infrastructure. So this opens up a lot of possibilities, but border security isn't a clear option. How fine is the line that Governor Reynolds is walking when it comes to using this federal money? Is she in bounds or out of bounds? Jeff? I, I think this is a legitimate use. Look, I'm, I'm on the County Board of Supervisors, and they have opened the rules on these funds wide open. Uh, Johnson County, for example, was using some of their federal funds to actually help uh, illegal immigrants. So I, I think she sees this as a need. I think illegal immigration, illicit drugs coming across the border is a problem. And I think she sees, and quite frankly, I think a great deal of Iowans see uh, this as a failure of the Biden administration. I think she's doing uh, what uh, what Iowans expect her to do, and I think she's doing what uh, uh, what, it's, what is the right thing to do. Phil Seedy, how do you see this use of federal money? You stated earlier what it was supposed to be used for. Um, and it's supposed to be used for families, assistance for families. It's supposed to be used for education. And it's supposed to be used for COVID. That, that would be nice if we strictly used that money. While there is some discrepancy on how it's to be used, I find that we should not be using this money to support uh, federal using troops, our troops, to do this. Um, I'm uncomfortable with it. Um, she has a history of taking federal dollars and using them where they shouldn't be. Um, we saw in 2021 where she used money to pay for 21, um, 21 employees who um, got raises and that was supposed to be used for again for COVID. So there's a history here of her misusing money and I think as Iowans we need to be responsible and say listen we need to stop this. Use the dollars what it should be used for and that's how I really feel about it. Let's get to our next topic. This is for Illinois. A federal conviction for perjury and obstruction of justice came down against a former top aide of Mike Madigan. Tim Mapes lied to a grand jury to shield the former Illinois Speaker of the House. His conviction renews calls from Republican state lawmakers for more ethics reform. One thing Republicans want is to outlaw the use of campaign money to pay for criminal defense lawyers. Democrats maintain they already made several ethics changes after the ComEd scandal broke. One of those is requiring lawmakers to disclose whether they have any relatives who work for a public utility in this state. So is there room for more ethics reform? Are Republicans making a fair request about keeping campaign money from being used to pay for lawyers? Phyllis? Um, yes, I can answer that. I think there's always room for improvement. Always, always. Um, we need to be ever vigilant looking for things to make things better. So with each case it's different. Like with this last case with his assistant, I think absolutely we need to make sure that people are not able to lie and perjure themselves um, when they are questioned about things that are going on. And so absolutely we need to make sure that the ethics committee takes a look at this and form new things to make it better um, so that people aren't able to do this. Jeff, I imagine you're on board with not using the campaign money for criminal defense attorneys, right? I, I am, and, and, and here's the thing. Uh, Democrats have the trifecta in Illinois. When you listen to the Democrats respond to, to uh, calls for ethics reform, all you get is general ideas and pluralities. Republicans have specific ideas. This is being stalled by Democratic leadership. Um, if there needs to be ethics reforms, the party that has the trifecta in Illinois needs to push those. What do you bet it doesn't happen? Well, they have made some reforms, and of course, Iowa Republicans have the trifecta there. Jeff Coffin, Phyllis Thede, please stand by. We'll pick up our conversation again in a moment. Still ahead, Trump and the Constitution. Some Republicans point to an amendment in the founding document as reason to kick him off the campaign trail. 
what merit there is to that argument. For the record.